resolving conflicts. Step number three, receive God's wisdom. Proverbs 2, verse 6. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. The third guideline, a third principle that we would like to address or present here in trying, in trying to resolve uh, human conflicts, conflicts in uh, interpersonal relationships, is to receive God's wisdom to resolve the conflict. You see, underlying every conflict are root causes or root cause. And in order to resolve the conflict, we want to deal with the root cause. But to get to the root cause, you need to understand God's wisdom. You need God's wisdom to get to that matter. And as you prepare yourself to go and sit down and uh, uh, work at resolving the conflict, we need to understand with the wisdom of God, what are issues that are non-essential. There are some things not even worth discussing. There are some things not worth pursuing in order to restore the relationship. But there are some things that need to be addressed. There is no point in spending hours and hours talking about non-essentials while we are ignoring the root cause of the conflict or the root causes of the conflict. Uh, what are the real reasons why there's been a conflict in relation in this particular relationship? Why? Uh, aren't we agreeing on things? Why aren't we uh, being able to come to an understanding? Deal with the root cause rather than dealing with peripheral issues. But for that, we need the wisdom of God. What are the things we should just let go? What are battles that are not worth fighting? What are things that are not worth discussing? Which we can very well let go and both parties will be happy. But what are important issues that really need to be addressed? And what is the right course of action to be taken to resolve the root causes, the real issues that are troubling the understanding and the relationship? So for that, ask God for wisdom. And the Bible tells us the Lord gives wisdom. So take time to pray. And as you pray, listen to God. As you pray over the matter and say, God, give me wisdom. How do I handle this? What are the things we need to address? God's wisdom will quicken your mind to root issues, root causes. These are the things that really need to be addressed. And God's wisdom will give you the grace to let go of non-essentials, of peripheral issues. So in your mind, you're already releasing things and saying, those are things I'm not even going to bother with. Because those don't make a real difference. And then you're ready to go to address the matter. So first prepare your heart to receive God's empowering, to love and forgive. Three, receive God's wisdom so that you know how and what to deal with. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you make your wisdom available to us for everyday life situations. The Lord gives wisdom. And we ask you for wisdom, God, even as we work and interact with people so that we can deal with real issues that need to be dealt with, rather than God fighting battles that don't even matter. Help us, give us the wisdom we need to know what needs to be addressed and how to address it. Thank you for making your wisdom available to us. In Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.